exposed. I'll be here. working on a pet project of mine, though she's not above biting the hand that feeds her. All right, I was hoping we might try and solve the mystery of poor Clive Rossfield, a bearer of the Sambrequa Imperial Army sent behind enemy lines, with orders to wait until it turned into a brawl, then slit the Dominant's throat in the chaos. I didn't know it was her. How could it be? And so, to save her neck, you slit your sergeants, then set your sights on the hills, conveniently forgetting how the Empire deals with deserters. Because with that on your chop, my friend, we both know you won't be getting far. You've fallen a long way, Lord Rossfield. <sighs> I'll not have it said that I'm a poor host. What do you mean to do with her? Do with her? Why, nothing. Her life is her own now. If I wanted to use her, do you think I'd be talking to you? All I want to do is help. Dominance like her, branded like you. Of course, the realm doesn't approve, which is why we live in a cave. And it's also why we need help. From branded who know one end of a sword from the other. What say you, Clive? Will you join us? Sid, was it? I trust that you'll do right by Jill. But until my brother is avenged, I must walk my own path. Avenged. My brother was murdered by a second dominant of fire. The Phoenix is evil twin. Oh, bugger me. Another rumor proven true. I only stand here today because of Joshua. Thirteen years I've waited for this chance. I've slept in filth, drunk from a gutter, killed more men than I can count. You're right. The Empire will not suffer a deserter. This will be my best opportunity. My last. Which is why you should join us. I told you I'm not... Interested, I know. One of my scouts sent word there's a group of branded fugitives north of here, in the Imperial village of Lost Wing. Among them is one he believes to be a dominance of fire. Is he certain? What say we go and ask him? This doesn't mean I'm joining you. Let's make ready then. You'll find everything you need down in the main hall, as well as a few things you don't. Have fun.
Is it? Oh no. Go towards it. Perhaps you can help. Sid asked me to make ready for our mission. How does one go about that here? Uh, well, uh, there's old Nan's place. Uh, oh, uh, on second thoughts, uh, you maybe want to see Blackthorn first. A blacksmith? To the forge it is then. Oh, wait, no, hold up. You'll be needing this. Blackthorn won't take no notice of you otherwise. Might not anyway. Are you Blackthorn? What if I am? No time for idle chatter. I'm not here to talk. I'll be accompanying Sid to Lostwing and I need you to see to my equipment. You could be accompanying the goddess Grieger to our holy bedchamber for all I care. I'm not lifting a finger for you. Is that so? Do you want that or not? I can take it back. <sighs> Damn you, Goots. All right, all right. No need to be hasty. Let's have a look at you. <laughs> I doubt that lot could stay a Moogle's fart. Bloody Imperials. They'd rather see their bearers dead than kid it out properly. I'll do what I can. As a favor to Goot's mind. Caesar Square. You want anything else? You bring your own materials. I'll bear that in mind. Thank you. <sighs> A word of advice. Don't let Sid decide what's best for you. See a mug of Kenneth's coldest. Seeing as you're new, let me share a word of warning. Keep your hands out of the stores, or I'll cut them off and crate them with the others. <laughs> I'm only teasing. We feed the hands to the dogs. <laughs> Seeing as you're new, let me share a word of warning. Keep your hands out of the stores, or I'll cut them off and crate them. What are you gawping at, newcomer? Never seen a man work with his hands? Well, you best get used to it if you're thinking of staying. Another newcomer. You mind the rules round here, or our next chat will be through the bars. The gift worked. You have my thanks. I, uh, uh, <laughs> Come on, nearly there.
You. Blankets. Quick as you like. All right. We make them comfortable while the bed's made up. Well, you're just gonna stand there. Someone face some water. I'll get the bucket. You go and see if Otto needs out, eh? Yeah. Wait, me? What the hell have I got myself into? <sighs> Who are they? Huh? They're freed Imperial bearers. Who the hell are you? <laughs> Shit, at this rate, he won't make it through the night. Think you can find your way up them stairs to the infirmary? We need Tyre. Well, go on. Shift your ass. Was Tyre the one looking after Jill? Your friend needs her rest. There'll be time for tearful reunions once she's recovered. I'm not here for Jill. You're wanted downstairs. There are injured bearers in need of attention. Well, why didn't you say so? <sighs> I did say so. He's going to be all right, but I'll need to examine them both in the infirmary. My work's just begun. Another fine day at the hideaway. Do many of the bearers who come here arrive in this state? It's no easy thing, casting off your chains. By the time most pluck up the courage, they're already too far gone. These two here are the lucky ones. The name's Otto. You need anything? You ask me. Well, Otto, I do need some supplies. Do you now? Then Lady Karen over there will be more than happy to help you. Right. Oh, and thanks. Be seeing you. Not likely. I won't be staying. Is that right? Well, for as long as you are here, consider yourself welcome. You helped us today, and we won't forget it. I need supplies for my journey to Lost Wing. Otto said you could provide them. What's that? Does the newcomer think it proper to make demands of a poor old matron before even introducing himself? <sighs> it's Clive. Well, Clive, I hear that dog is yours. Since he followed Sid home one night, I've seen to it that his chin's rubbed and his belly fed. Though I suppose that's your job now. Unless you lose him again. I won't. Not again. Thank you for watching him. So, were you gonna buy something? What? You didn't think I'd shower your lordship with my hard-won wares while you swagger about with a pocket full of gill? Life doesn't work that way, lad. Now, let's see some coins.
not find a better price than that. Not without the coin, you don't. You got out else? I reckon I can find a buyer. I'm not running a charity, yeah, yeah. No discounts, not even for you. Why, you've barely a guilty name. You're taking his side now. And after all I've done for you. All right. All right, I can make an exception. But just this once, mind. My stores are getting cluttered and I need to make room for the next shipment. Thank you. Thank me? Thank you, dog. Well done. Hmm. Leaving already, are ya? It's you I'll miss the most, Lady Karen. It always is. Don't stop you going, does it? This should be fun. Right. To go and help. It sounds like Otto has it. Don't. Ah, a new face. 
and, dare I hope, a willing pair of hands. The fat chocobo is a demanding mistress, and we are too few to keep her on her feet. Might I persuade you to deliver a meal or two to souls in need of sustenance? For your trouble, I can offer you the contents of my strongbox and my enduring gratitude. I don't see why not. Marvelous. And who exactly do I have the honor of addressing? Clive. Delighted to make your acquaintance, Clive. I'm Kenneth, and mine are the weary shoulders upon which the weight of this fine establishment rests. Now, I have three hungry customers awaiting their victuals. Take these if you would, and be careful, they're hot. Food. I was hoping it might be. Well, doesn't this look fine? Thank you, lad. You're new, aren't you? Kenneth's running you ragged already, I expect, the old rascal. Well, he did say he'd give me something for my trouble. <laughs> and so he should. We're not slaves anymore. Well met, lad, and keep up the good work. And just seeds and soil. Uh, your food. Just a moment. I need to finish this. I won't be a burden. I'm of no use to anyone as I am, but maybe if I can master this. All right, but see that you eat it before it gets cold. Of course. Thank you. <laughs> Never knew dung had so many uses. Yours is not a familiar face. Are you new to the hideaway, perchance? You could say that. Well then, allow me to welcome you. I am Harpocrates II Hyperboreus. That's, uh... <laughs> Quite a mouthful, I know. Which is why everyone here has taken to calling me simply, and what varied comfort, but alas, perhaps... I have a few new notes that might interest you. If you have a question for me, I should be happy to answer it. You are always welcome, Clive. do not think me lazy for waiting to be served like a lord. <laughs> Only my former master did not use me kindly, you see. He left me half lame, truth be told. But Sid took me in nonetheless. <laughs> well, the hideaway is the home I never knew, and a mighty fine one at that. That's the last one. I'd better let Kenneth know. All done, I presume? Splendid. They were bearers. All three of them. Not slaves waiting upon their master's pleasure, but... men waiting to be fed like equals. Indeed. Equality is the very cornerstone upon which our little community is founded. Beyond these walls, we are scorned as slaves. Speaking only when spoken to, eating only what scraps our masters deign to give us. The first hot meal here is the first many will have known. In the hideaway, we are free, 
truly free to speak as we please when we please, and to eat what and when we desire. More than reason enough to trust in Sid's vision, wouldn't you say? Now, I promised you something for your trouble, did I not? The contents of my strongbox are yours to do with as you will. Thank you, Clive. Do come and visit me again, won't you? Bastard blood flies everywhere. I told you we should have taken the Crystal Road. And I told you that we're outlaws. And you want every bounty hunter in Storm harrying us from here... ...to the Holy Capital? Besides, what's wrong with a shortcut through nature's splendor? Yeah. The Deadlands claim more of the realm each day. And a place like this still exists as a miracle in itself. Blood flies and all. You'll be back in Imperial land soon. You all right? Never better. Sounds like it. <laughs> that there is a fine hound. Soon took to hunting. Fearless as you like. It's good to have you back, Torkel. Now, we don't want to be caught in the forest after nightfall. I suppose not. Did I mention there'd be deadly beasts? There'll be deadly beasts. Nothing a trained assassin can't handle, though. How reassuring. You're welcome. For that and the shortcut.
Don't tell me you're afraid of heights. Maybe they're friendly like Toggle. Or oh, maybe they're not. What in good Grieger's name is he doing this far south? Looking for food. No more walls where he's from. The north was one of the first parts of Storm to fall to the Blight. Poor sod. I'd invite him over for a cup of tea if I didn't think he'd eat the dog. Let's try and stay out of its path. Remember when I said there were deadly beasts? Well, the shrubs of these parts are much better. And you only think to mention this now. <laughs> Sorted. I'll take it from here. After you. Thank you kindly. say there was a time they blocked out the stars. Down was the only way left for them to go. There's probably a lesson to be learned from that. But it can wait. Come on. Mind your head.
stop admiring the view and get down here. Must be a nest nearby. Keep your eyes open. Well, it appears we won't be going this way. I'll admit I hadn't counted on that. What is it, boy? At least one of us knows these woods. Thank you, Toggle.
Not so chaff. You'd better hope so. This shouldn't take too long. So much for your shortcut. Well, still short, just not quite as quick. But it'll be a damn sight quicker if you help me. My thoughts exactly. <laughs> Dominant. I am. I. 
Well, not by choice, mind. Old bloody Rome of strapping young lads. And it was this sorry sack of bones, Rome, who saw fit to home. Sid. You say you want to help dominance and bearers. But what's in it for you? What's in it for me? The same as for all of us. What we want and deserve. Save for our knack, dominance and bearers are no different from anyone else. The ability to use magic or summon great beasts should command respect, but instead has left us outcasts. Our kind are used and discarded like tools, yet we are men, so why must we die as less? I see. So what you're saying is you want to start a war. <laughs> ah, you flatter me, lad. But my days as a firebrand are long behind me. No, I only wish to offer our kind a choice. A place where we can die on our own terms. Okay. What exactly do you plan on doing when you find this dominant the fire? What do you think? I'll show him the mercy he showed my brother. And cut out the tongue of any man who tries to talk me out of it. Alright. Forest dark enough with it. <sighs> that river we follow her upstream and we'll be in lost wing in no time in no time right Yes! 
Scout. Someone's far from home. Let's follow him. Huh? And? They're just down that way. All of them. Grieger's my witness. Excellent. We move. I, 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 I don't understand. Have I not proven loyal? It's true my liege values loyalty above all else. <laughs> but were you not quick to betray your countrymen for the promise of coin? intelligences if we can capture her you weapons on the ground Imperials <sighs> let's get this over with then They're not giant lizards. But I'll leave you on the wind!
behind you. They thought we were Imperials. Well, you do look the part. <laughs> Though you fight like a true shield of Rosaria, and one blessed by the Phoenix at that. <laughs> Speaking of which, I wonder... Does the other icon of fire give blessings, do you think? You don't believe me. And lo, the Creator did make of the elements eight icons to serve as keepers of the One Law. Not that I've ever set too much store by holy doctrine, but on that point, it's clear. Fire has always had just the One Warden, as of all the rest. A new one can't be born until the previous dies, and even that can take years. The thing is, you don't strike me as a liar. Which leaves but one person who might be able to shed some light on the matter. And they're in Lost Swing. As are our Waluda friends, I would imagine. We should hurry before it gets dark. But what if someone discovers the bodies? Well, then they'll be sorely disappointed. So much for arriving before sunset. Oh, I didn't realize we were this close. Any idea what that is they built the village around? 
The Fallen Ruin. I've heard some call it an airship. Though its flying days seem to be behind it. It's a shame, that. You truly think a dominant waiting for us in that village? My scout has never given me any reason to doubt him. Which is why I think we should hurry. Come on. This isn't the first time I've seen one of these. Perhaps I can use them as waymarks. Figures up ahead. But are they friends or foes? You! This might oh, take a while. <laughs> to ask the next ones we meet. Let me know how it goes. No sign of the Royalists. Or anyone else for that matter. It's too bloody quiet. Even for this hour. What do we do now? First we look for my scout. You start here, I'll circle around the back. How do I let you know if I find him? Good question. Shout? Subtle. like. The village can't be completely abandoned, can it? You miss me? I'm flattered, but let's stick to the plan, eh? Ah! <laughs> 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 
This man's gonna die if we don't get into a healer. Enough of your barking, dog! About time. Stand back. <clears throat> Who the hell are you? Clive! Thought you weren't coming. You still alive, Gav? <laughs> Barely. Been doing what I can for the villagers, but... I thought you were joking. It's all right. He's with me. Is this everyone? No. There were others. A pair of royalists came for the bearers just before you arrived. Was a dominant among them? Maybe. It's not like he was holding a sign. Guess where he's going. Clive, after him.
word from the scouts. Not yet, my lady, but we have the dominant's companion. It's only a matter of time before we seize our quarry. Very good. And what of the others? The bearers have been taken to Cair Norvent. Some may still be worth keeping should the dominant elude us. All is in hand, my lady. They will not be spoiled. I give you my word. <laughs> Gentlemen, a toast! Will you join me? <laughs> my sex. To our lady of the wind! And the king! Ugh. Imperials drink this piss? Well, it would go some way to explain their breath. <laughs> <laughs> the Lady Benedicta! Imperials! And instead of killing them, you lead the rat straight to us. Mercy! <laughs> Look what we have here, boys. An Imperial Bearer. Good. I was getting bored. Boo.
got some fight in you, even for a branded. <laughs> Clive! <laughs> Look who's here to save the day. Is this how you recruit all of your charges? Don't recall you complaining, Benedicta. So, Sidolphus, remind me, why was it that you betrayed your kingdom? I asked your question, Lord Commander. Why? Because I'd had enough of you and your king's antics. And yet here you are, stealing my branded. What are you plotting? As if I'd tell you. Lady Benedicta, we have secured the dominant. <sighs> oh, something is weird. And she's gone. Did she say where she was going? No. Then we head back to Lost Wing. One of the villagers may have heard something. But we can't just... Which is why I sent Gav. The man has a nose for these things. Trust me. <laughs> so... It wasn't about bearers at all. They were looking for a dominant. Yeah, that's right. I thought we were hiding the bastard. Like any of us would keep a monster like that under our roof. Oh, no offence. When no one talked, they started rounding up everyone with a brain. And then everyone without one and all. And locked you in the cellar, hoping sooner or later someone would break. <laughs> <laughs> You know, things might have been different if you'd accepted my invitation. Oh, don't remind us. We were all saying the same thing. Yeah. This is our home, innit? Yeah. Don't mean we won't out when we can, though. And that, I'll drink to. <sighs> oh, come hear the tale of Lord D on the board. Whose tamed worms a thousand and slain the tenfold. One hundred full legions the young dragoon led, and watched as a million foes turned tail and fled. His lance levels mountains, it spanned as the deep. The skies over storm breaks for the and showed the revenge won't bring him back. Thirteen years ago, I watched a dominant kill my brother right in front of me, and I did nothing. But now I can. I can kill the son of a bitch and bring peace to my brother's soul. After that, Whatever happens, happens. Wait. You're content to be a slave, then?
His radiance would have us believe the Imperial host invincible. Yet here we find the Empire's cornerstone teetering on the backs of a handful of cowards and cutthroats. <laughs> While well, Bahamut may lead a hundred full legions, could it be that the young prince defends a house of cards ready to topple at the slightest breeze? Tell me something. Why do you not resist? Within you lies the power to slay gods. The phoenix perished in your flames. Yet you do not fight. You do not flee. You refuse your gift. Perhaps you are distracted. My offer still stands. Join us, and you will be treated with the respect one of our kind deserves. Lord Margrace, don't! I'll give you a moment to consider your options. Do be gentle with them. Clive. Mm? Wake up. Gav's back. Norvind. One of the Empire's outlying strongholds, though apparently not strong enough to keep out the Royalists. The captured bearers are inside. I'm sure of it. If Benedicta's orders are to stay in the shadows, she won't be traveling with many men. Meaning, she'll be keeping her prisoners together and close by. Including the Dominant. So, we find a way into the fortress and conjure a bit of chaos. Uh, what about me? Excellent question, Gav. You will wait outside the care and guide those I free to safety. And miss all the fun? Why can't he do that? Clive doesn't have your nose. He'd stumble off a cliff before he even found the men. Come on, Gav. You're the best man for the job. Well, when you put it that way... <sighs> Suppose I'd better scout ahead for any surprises. Don't you let him down. I won't. All right. Shall we? Not so fast. We wait until tomorrow. But he, he's right there. And if we leave now, we'll arrive just as the sun comes up. Maybe join the guards in breaking their fast. Come on, Clive. They only just took the place. They'll be there a while yet. We've got one chance at this. You don't want to waste it, do you? No. someone I want you to meet. At this hour? He's the owner of the tavern, and our best hope of getting a decent night's kid. Any friend of the innkeeper is a friend of mine.
I trust it's all here. You've only got two hands, my friend. I hope it's to your liking. Ah, oh, yes. Good day. What can I interest you in today? Ah, oh, yes. You've only got two hands, my friend. Keep fighting the good fight. You're the kind man who saved Mummy. Thank you. You're the kind man who's... Mummy, thank you. Quentin, my good man, it seems we'll be spending the night. I thought as much. Where do you find that one? Oh, well, him. You won't believe me if I told you. Quinton here is an old friend, one who is sympathetic to our cause. Sympathetic? And he knows about your little sanctuary. I would never have guessed so many people were bent on setting us free. When last I checked, the mere thought would only a trip to the gallows. I am well aware of the risks, as I am of the rewards. And what could be more rewarding than your very own dominant of fire? A dominant? Here? Now that I would like to see. <sighs> Meaning you haven't. No, but nothing passes unnoticed in Lost Wing. Take your brand, for example. People will see that at once. And I need hardly tell you how they will greet the inquiries of a bearer. You are afraid your words will fall on deaf ears, as they have ever since the moment you were marked. Happily, I can provide a solution to your dilemma, as a favor to Sid, that is. Take this. You will find it has the uncanny power to loosen tongues. May the mothers guide you. This might be Imperial land, but here in Lost Wing, it's his word that's law. But how? You don't need to worry about that just yet. Trust me, everyone in Lost Wing knows what that seal means, and what it means if they don't take note. 
Now we can sit here counting our blessings, or put them to good use and find that dominance. Your choice. Let's see if this thing really works. Quinton took a liking to you, I see. And there I was, thinking you were in bed with Sid. Wonder what Gav will have to say about this. Speaking of whom, if you see him, tell him thanks for looking after us. Now, what can I help you with? I'm searching for a dominant of fire. Gav seems to think he might have taken refuge here. We see a lot bearers around these parts. But I do seem to recall one who commanded the flame. Now, whether or not that makes him a dominant, I can't say. But the Waludas certainly took a keen interest in the poor sod. Did you go look at him? Didn't have a chance. One of the other bearers might have died. Thank you. Hanged man, I see. Master Quentin must think you're important. It was a good thing you done today, getting rid of those bastards. If you hadn't come when you did, I'd be on my way to Ash by now, along with the others. Poor buggers. These others, was there a dominant among them? A dominant of fire? Might have been, yeah. Royalists seem to think there was, anyhow. A thin bloke, all swallowed up in his robes, like one of great Grieger's churchmen. Do you recall anything else about him? Only that he weren't alone. Was a young maid who went wherever he did. Including the church. And wherever the royalists dragged them both off to before you got here. I see. Thank you. I wonder if Sid's found anything. you've got good news. So, a shady lad with a hood and his equally shady lass. Not much to go on, but... But... I've been thinking, if our friend is a dominant, why not just burn the royalists to a crisp? There's a reason he's holding back. And I reckon he has something to do with his partner. What makes you say that? One of the villagers I talked to said the two were separated. If the Waludas have her, our dominants like to think twice before starting any fires. Whoever he is, he's shown himself to have a level head. He's careful, cunning, and he doesn't want to be found. This could spell trouble. For us and the Royalists both. <sighs> Still, it'll be a whole lot worse if we set off after them with bleary eyes and empty bellies. There should be a pair of pallets waiting for us back at the inn. Shall we? Now, 
all those beds? Beds? I seem to recall your request being to spend the night. And for that, the floor will more than suffice. Better than a wet rock, I suppose. <sighs> My thanks, Quentin. Next time you're at the hideaway, our floor's all yours. No need for thanks, Sid. This isn't an act of charity. You don't say. In exchange for my floor, I shall be requiring your services. The Royalists saw fit to erect a barricade across the road south when they occupied the village, and failed to remove it when they left. I expect it to be gone before you leave. As you wish. Expected. First time dismantling the barricade? It gets easier, don't worry. I won't. If we leave now, we'll arrive at the care when the shadows are at the deepest. Unless you'd rather wait. No more waiting. The road's south then. Unless. I know of another shortcut. You should be so lucky. cuts through Lorbert's Pass to Cairn Northern. You're not thinking of heading that way, are you? If the Royalists were looking to take the care that had posted sentries to prevent any unwelcome surprises, at least I would have. Well, you should know. Majesty's cunning stunts, and he sent his best to execute it. There they are! Just
Much as I enjoy battering down the front door, I hazard this endeavor will require a bit more tact. There's an old sluice that empties under the bridge. It should see us through to the lower levels of the care. Sid. We both know why I'm here. But what is it that you want? Why would you risk your life for a handful of outcasts? If anyone ever learned what you've been doing with their property... They'd have my head in a box. But this isn't just about dominance and bearers, it's about all of us. What I want is to build a place where it doesn't matter what you are, but who you are. But our world isn't ready for a place like that. So, until it is, I use the power I've been given to show people there is hope. this Benedicta. The best and worst decision I ever made. Don't underestimate her, Clive. A fight with her icon is not one you're likely to walk away from. Garuda. Warden of the Wind. The land has fallen. The eastern territories all but belong to the orcs. I'll have my men ready to depart by noon. Don't bother. But what of the mines? Without adamantite... The blight would have engulfed the mines ere long. Besides, you already have your orders. One of our sentries has failed to report, my lady. Your orders? Pull the men back inside the care, Geralt. He is here, then. Have them lead Sid and his little pet to the chapel. I shall entertain them there. <sighs> so you've come for me after all.
dungeons. They may be holding the bearers there. Sound plan. As long as we keep ourselves on this side of the bars. Two now. This door only leads to more royalists. We'd better find another one. Take your pick. Garrison, right where the royalists left them. everywhere.
Never were one for half measures, were you, Benedict? These poor sods didn't know what hit them. All this bloody running. After them. We have them. Seems they were expecting us. You don't say. What the hell happened here? Little light for prayer, isn't it? Do I seem so desperate as to grovel at the feet of a false god? <laughs> I was waiting for you. Not for too long, I hope. 
All this for a midnight chat. Well, let's chat then. Where are the men and women you took from Lost Wing? You mean, where's the dominant? Well, Lude shall be requiring his services indefinitely. Come back to me, Sidolphus. I need you. Think of all the things we can create together. The world that we can build. You need me. <laughs> Your king needs me. I'm all for building a new world. Just not his. That bastard's dreams are as twisted as his promises are false. And I want no part of him. King Barnabas saved you, and this is how you speak of him. Have you no shred of loyalty? What? To a leader who'd use me? Like he uses you. You know nothing of me, Sidolphus. You're right. I don't know who you are anymore. Or what you want. I only know what you used to say. That you were tired of running. That you just wanted to be free. Free of it all. You weren't lying to me then, so what changed? What made you think you had to sacrifice who you were to get what you wanted? Sacrifice? I use my talents to my advantage, and you would tell me there is shame in that? If there's no shame, then why do you feel so sorry for yourself? A rousing speech, Lord Commander. I was a fool to believe you might have changed. The only person I feel sorry for is you! I can't do this anymore. If you would stand between our leash and his dream, then you leave me no choice. Goodbye, Sidolphus. Stand back, Clive. Finish them. Well, Sid, at least it's not three against one.
doesn't look happy, Toro. Come on. Sid, are you all right? Do I look all right? <coughs> Benedicta will be on her way to collect the Dominant, if she hasn't already. You can't afford to let them leave. Remember, she has wings, you don't. What about you? Before or after I catch my breath. Sorry. Come on, Toggle. Somewhere. 
Doral has been signaled. Lady wants us gone before sunrise. <laughs> <laughs> 